So yes, we have an Arc Linux B left WM that we've built. It's going to be an Arc Linux B out uh, folder and to test it out, right? Maybe it's a good thing to have a workflow like that, that you say, okay, let's do a template. Let's clone it, call it test. Voila, we've got a virtual machine. We're going to feed the beast, right? With the Arc Linux B out the left OVM that we've built just now. That's the date, that's the hour. The morning, right? Start. And you boot up like any of our ISOs and like any of so many ISOs, right? We have lines to choose, drivers, right? Make sure you know what line to choose. Open source drivers without the Nouveau. Nvidia, which is proprietary, so it's not open source. And this one is the same, but Nouveau is then deleted. So we only have Nvidia there. And this is if you can't, none of these guys can work, then this is your thing. So in my case, everything works here when I choose this one, except one, I guess, which has just Nvidia card, then I choose Nvidia. Either Nouveau or the other both work, but it does not work everywhere. I always say not all hardware is uh, created equally, and it's not. So you need to figure that out, and the ArchWiki is an ideal place to do that. So this is your left WM. You, you boot always into the, the system, and, and tiling window managers is, are often kind of difficult because, well, they're not GNOME, and they're not Plasma and Cinnamon and so on. So it's, it's um, all keyboard driven. There's no right mouse click, there's no menu, there is always something, um, yeah, a little bit more difficult in the beginning, right? So this is our welcome to Arch Linux uh, application that's stretched out or tiled on this screen. And if you go to desktop 2, you'll see that we left you with a conky. So if you're really, really new to tiling window managers, none of this makes sense. And here are all the keyboard shortcuts that you can use exits and shut down and quit applications and all that. All right, so have a look at some point in time, it's in your fingers, you don't have to think about it anymore. And what you do is a super C and you say goodbye Conky. And then you choose, we have two options, beginner installation, please, if you're coming from Windows and you're all quite, quite new and just maybe second, third Linux distribution, right? Then you're still a beginner, right? Try the beginner installation first because this will give you lots of choices, but with choices comes notch. You don't know the applications yet. You don't know what a kernel is, what LTS is, and kernel, what's all that. And there is uh, all kinds of um, questions that will pop up if you go for the advanced installation. This one is what the standard distributions give users. Most of us download ISOs and they just get this. A few choices done we want you to give more flexibility more um, choices but like i said with choices comes knowledge you need to acquire that particular knowledge just for future reference we're using 3.2.44.2 this is great it's a graphical installer we don't need to go to arch linux and the wiki and learn about fdisk and change this and change that it's kind of complicated and it's further down our university and our learning curve, we, it's later, right? Later, we'll learn how to work with Arch Linux and do it the Arch way of installing. This is great. This is graphical. Is they say, okay, do you want to need, what language do you want your system to be in? Uh, and so on. So next, where do you live? Fine region, Brussels, you can change this. If it's not correct, you can just pinpoint it somewhere else and it's gonna be okay again. System language will be set to American English. Not okay, change it, okay. This one, numbers and locale, the same goes here. Change it to the country you live in or the language. Eh? And next, this is very important for me anyway. I need Azerti key, right? So Azerti is what we type on. And that's the only thing that I should not forget here. And then we erase the disk. This is a virtual box, so, right? everything okay decide whether you want a small well no swap small swap big swap and swap to file so watch the graphic and then you know what's gonna happen 
Okay, so this is the swap, 3.1 gig, small one, so you can't hibernate. Bigger, so you can hibernate. And swap to file is no actually partition, but a file on your system. Decide what format, keep everything as is, guys. It's great at the way it is because we are going for the beginner installation, right? But any of these guys, all of them will work fine. You can encrypt or not encrypt, again, beginner installation. So just keep it simple and stupid. Last, longest, with the least of frustrations. And then you choose a name and, and all that, a password, whether you want to log in automatically, use the same password for administrator account, and we're off, almost. One, well, summary, so read the summary, see that everything is set correctly. And if you think everything is okay, you can go for install, otherwise it's a back. And one last pop-up, at this point in time, everything will be erased. Whatever is on your system, it's gonna be gone. So install now, and there we go. Now we pause the video. And at some point in time, voila, it's done. And you can reboot. Now the advanced thing, we have lots of packages you can install, lots of Linux applications, but it will always get longer and longer because you need to download everything, install everything. So it depends on the speed of your internet, depends on the speed of your CPU, and then you can reboot as well. So how to start? Well, go and have a look, there are lots of information here, but we just say how to start, we don't wanna see you again, and then we quit. And then when you are on left WN, right, it's up to you now to explore this new desktop. And as you see to the left here, we have some things we need to remember. Super Shift D, Super Shift D, what's that? Oh yeah, it's a menu. But then you need to remember things like Firefox, right? And then it will launch Firefox for you. And this is a tiling window manager. So it means it's gonna be tiling things like this. And as you see, we've made it nicely in the sense that this here is not by default on Arplex nor is super x default so we've made a complete look of um, left wm in the candy icon theme all right enjoy left wm it's an, a great tool you can tweak a lot so you can theme a lot you're gonna have fun i'm sure cheers